Good morning, students. Today our lesson is about finding missing angles using sine, cosine, and tangent in right-angled triangles. Just to recap, sine x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine x is adjacent over hypotenuse, while tangent x is opposite over adjacent. Question one. Find the measure of the indicated angle using sine. This is our missing angle. We're gonna assume it is x. We start by labeling our sides. Side opposite to our angle is the opposite. The side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. Using this sign, we write sine x equals to opposite, which is 32, over the hypotenuse, which is 37. Since we are finding a missing angle, we need to use the inverse. So x, our angle, is equal to inverse of sine 32 over 37. Using our calculators, we press shift, sine, fraction, 32 over 37. We close parentheses and equal. This is the, uh, this is the measure of our angle. We will run to one decimal place, hence our angle is equal to 59.9 degrees. Question two. Same concept. It says find the measure of the indicated angle using cosine. Our missing angle is here. We're going to assume it's x. Start by labeling our sides. The side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. This side is the adjacent. The cosine, cosine x, is equal to back here, adjacent, which is 46, over the hypotenuse, which is 57. Again, since we are using, since we are finding an angle, we use the inverse. So x is equal to inverse of cosine, 46 over 57. Using our calculators, so it's shift, cosine, 46 over 57. Close parenthesis, equal. This is our missing angle. We will round to one decimal place, hence our x is equal to 36.2 degrees. Last question, find the measure of the indicated angle using tangent. Again, we start by labeling. This is opposite to our angle, so it's the opposite. This one is our adjacent. And now we write it, the trigonometric ratio. Tangent of x, again, we're assuming our missing angle is x. Tangent is equal to opposite, which is 19, over adjacent, 38. We are finding an angle, so we use the inverse. Inverse of tangent, 19 over 38. We get our calculators. So it's shift, do not forget to press the shift. So shift tangent, then it's 19 over 38. We close parentheses, press equal. This is our missing angle. We round to one decimal place, hence our angle is equal to 26.6 degrees. So students, this is our lesson for today. It's about finding missing angles in right angle triangles using the three trigonometric ratios. Just as a reminder, whenever we are finding an angle, we always have to use the inverse. By that, we mean the shift button on your calculators. Thank you and have a good day.